All right, guys, this next guy, I said, hey, what do you want me to say? But he says, I don't care! It doesn't matter, okay? You know what, it doesn't matter? Everybody give it up for Kurt Maloney, everybody. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you clap or not, but clap. You made that up to make me look like a dick, so y'all start off hating me. Oh, it's gonna be great. Let's have fun. Thanks for coming, everyone. Give yourself a round of applause. Forty five for you. That's great. Uh, I'm gonna tell you two stories tonight. They're both true, and I'll tell them to you. One of them's sad, the other one's not. Let's start with the sad one. Uh, someone said, "Yeah, that's great." Uh, so the first one is this is. Uh, so I'm gonna tell you a story. The first day I went back to school after my brother passed away. Um, don't worry. He was 14 when it happened, so he lived a long time. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Don't feel weird. I was 12, so it was like my first memory. It's okay, it's okay. He lived a long life. 14's a long time. Some people get aborted, so comparatively, it's good. One in eight couples, statistically one in eight couples, will have an abortion before they're 30. So at least he wasn't one of those guys. I don't want to accuse anyone in here, right? But like for you, statistically have a sadder story than I do. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? Also, I made that statistic up. <laughs> so, so don't ask everyone after Do you have an abortion? Do you have an abortion? It's true. Don't do that. Okay? Alright. Plus, also, I got the saddest part away. Now you know my brother died, okay? He's dead. He's not coming back. Unless he does. We don't know. I don't know the future. <laughs> he might. I'm holding out hope. <laughs> Part's gone. I'm not gonna say anything else sad, all right? I'm just gonna tell you the day, okay? It was a normal Thursday. I got up for school. I left. I walked out the door. I left the screen open. My dog ran in the street. He got hit by a car. That didn't happen. Pay attention, people. My dog didn't die, okay? My brother died. Okay? The dog didn't die. He's dead now, but he didn't die the same day. Okay? That happened a couple days later. So. <laughs> So yeah, so uh, this is my first day going back to school. I remember my parents woke up in the middle of the night, they were like, oh, your brother died. And I was like, this way you're in the same house, because they're divorced. Uh, <laughs> thanks for laughing at that. That's not a fucking joke. <laughs> so anyways, they were like, you have an option. You don't have to go to school today. If you don't want to, you can stay here. So I had the choice. I could go to school, which I hate, because school sucks. Or I could stay home where my parents were like, why, God, why? <laughs> the wrong kid died. They didn't say that. No! In my head, they did. Uh, <laughs> So I go to school naturally, and, I, and I'm thinking on the way there, I'm like, I feel bad, I should stay home with my family, I should be there with my family, the whole time I'm feeling bad. So that leads to the next decision, I'm not gonna tell anybody, I'm not gonna tell my friends, because then they're gonna know, and they're gonna be like, what a dick. So I go to school, my friends are talking, what'd you do last night, and they're all talking, they're all talking, they're like, Kurt, what did you do? And I was like, lie, and I was like, oh, my brother died. And that's not a lie, right? I'm not good at lying. So they were like, and they laughed. They're like, yeah, fucking right. You wouldn't be here. You'd be home with your family. And I was like, I already felt bad about that. They should make me feel worse. Uh, so they didn't believe me. They're like, yeah, 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 whatever. And we go to class. And then my teacher knew, because obviously my parents called and told my teacher. And so she came up to me really discreetly. And she was like, you need to like, take advantage. Go to the bathroom. Just step outside. It's not going to cost you any points. But whatever, you just go outside. Uh, so I was like, tight. So, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so I was like, great, everyone pull out your math books, and I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom, it's fucking math and math. So I go, I go to the bathroom, like, this is tight, and I, uh, I'm on the way to the bathroom, and I get to the bathroom, and when I get in there, I see JT. Now, JT is the school bully. This guy is a dick. We are not friends. Me and this guy are not friends. And I walk in, and he's peeing in the sink, and he goes, what's up, buddy? I'm like, hey, pal, I don't want to correct him. If he thinks we're friends today, we're friends today. That's fine. So he's peeing in the sink. He's like, hey, buddy. I'm like, hey, pal. And then I'm like, I'm going to go use the stall because I'm afraid you're going to kick my ass. Like, while I'm peeing, I don't want that to happen in the stall block. So I go in the stall. And while I'm in the stall, I'm sure he's still peeing in the sink holding his wiener. Uh, he's, like, uh, he's like, hey, Kurt, do you want to see something funny? And I was like, I can see something funny. Dude. I can do something funny. So then he goes into the handicap stall, I'm still doing my business, and then he gets out, and I can see like through the cracks, he like goes outside, and he like waves over a kid, says something to the kid, the kid screams, runs away, he comes back in laughing. Apparently what happened is while I was doing my business, he went in the store and got a bunch of toilet paper in the stall, and then he like squatted, and he took a shit onto the toilet paper. I'm not making this up, thanks for following along. He took a shit on the toilet paper, and he went out there, and he was like, <laughs> and this little Asian second grader was like, God, what did you do? Or whatever Asian second grader was like, hey, what's up? He was like, <laughs> so I'm going to be like, 
He's like, do you want some chocolate? <laughs> the kid was like, yeah, I love chocolate. Give me, give me, give me. And he's like, here you go. And the kid was like, that's not chocolate, that's caca. And he ran away, and then Jakey came back laughing, and he told me, and I was like, that's the fucking funniest thing that's ever happened to me. That's great. So we're laughing, and then me and him start to become friends or whatever. We're both peeing in the sink now. We're having a great time. And I was like, I better go back to class. So I'm walking back to class. I'm like crying a laughter. And then I see my best friend Ryan, and he's running at me. He's running from class and he's crying and I'm like, oh, he must have heard the shit story already. <laughs> he runs up to me and he's like, hey man, I'm sorry I didn't believe you. And I was like, I didn't get to tell you about the shit yet. And he's like, no, no, I'm sorry I didn't believe about your brother dying. And I was like, what? <laughs> and he was like, the teacher just told the whole class what happened last night. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? And he was like, I'm so sorry. We got to go back into that class now. And I was like, so I go back into class, and then the whole class, when I walk in, stares at me. Even the teacher, she was like, and then she was like, and I could see her see that she shouldn't have told everybody like she did. Like, I saw her be like, oh, I thought she was like. <laughs> so then everyone's staring at me, and I was like, oh, fuck, there's a lot of pressure on me to break the tension. I got to say something, making people laugh. No, I'm okay. So they're all staring at me, and I was like. JT tried to feed a Chinese person shit. <laughs> and then that's the last time I saw JT. They expelled him. I ratted him out. I feel bad about that. So there, I haven't seen that guy since. He saved that whole day for me. That was great. <laughs> I feel like he's out there somewhere and he's just like gonna find me and feed me shit or something. <laughs> Uh, so, so I have one more story for you. Uh, that was a sad one. Thanks for sticking through it. Uh, this one is about the uh, the first time I almost lost my virginity. Keyword almost surprise. It's also sad. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, I was 16 and I was visiting my mom in Arizona and on the way back, a friend of the family was visiting too. She's also 16. Uh, I won't say her real name. Uh, her name was uh, uh, Bandis. Okay. Uh, so I like say so on the way back we're both on the red eye. She's afraid of flying and I'm like. Oh, all right, cool, and she's super cute, and she, Candace, sorry, Bandis, had some, <laughs> fuck, that was not on purpose. Uh, she, she had some bigum titums. It's not important to you, it's just important to me that you know that. Uh, so, <laughs> we're sitting next to each other on the plane, and she's like, I'm afraid of flying, and I was like, don't worry, like, if anything happens, I got you. Super smooth. In all reality, if anything happens, like, when I was 16, we're like, like, stick my arm out the window, be like, we got this, all right! That didn't happen. So anyway, so we're like here, whatever, and then we start making it on the plane. I'm touching up on her watermelon movies. They're great. And uh, she, she pulls away and says the one thing that every 16-year-old boy wants to hear. She pulls away and really sexually. She's just like, uh, do you want to? And I was like, want to what? And she was like, you know, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I want to, I want to, yeah, that sounds great. So we decide we're going to do it in the bathroom because we're classy like that. Right, and so we're about to go, and then we see like the beverage cart lady coming by, and it was like the longest two minutes waiting for her to pass. We're like, come on, lady, hurry up! I don't want to coke, I want to fuck. <laughs> Finally, she goes like after forever, and then I get up, and I'm like, here we go, and she grabs my wrist, and she goes, wait, and I go, shit, and I'm like, what? And she goes, aren't you a virgin? And I was like, I gotta play it cool right now, cause that's what happens. You gotta be cool to have sex. So I look at her, and I was like, she's like, are you, aren't you a virgin? And I was like, no, and she was like, yes, you are. <laughs> I don't know how you guys know that shit, but it, it's frustrating and amazing at the same time. It's incredible. And I was like, okay, fine. Is that a problem? And she was like, she's so sweet. She was like, well, I don't want to take your virginity from you. That's supposed to be special. And I was like, now I gotta be even cooler if this is gonna happen. So I looked at her and I was like, I don't give a shit who I fuck. I just want to lose my virginity on an airplane. <laughs> So, so we didn't have sex. <laughs> Flash forward three years into the future, I'm 19, I'm very drunk at a party on the second story, I have sex in the bathroom, which instead of being in the Mile High Club, I was in like a 14 foot club. It's not as prestigious, a lot of people are in that club, it kinda sucks. And I got mad at Candace for it, because I could have lost my virginity in a really cool way, and the way that I could have lost my virginity was very close to like a childhood dream of mine, and that childhood dream is having sex on the moon, and everybody wants to have sex on the moon. You may have not have known you want to have sex on the moon, and I was like, yeah, everybody wants to have sex on the moon. You were like, yeah, yeah, I want to have sex on the moon. It would be fucking incredible if you're just like. <laughs> In my fantasies, I'm Darth Vader.
Thanks so much, guys. My name is Sharon Maloney. Thanks for coming out. Keep it going for Kurt, everybody. Babies are floating somewhere in space.